Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And in this reading, I would just like to find out a little bit more about this possible book that Meghan Markle is writing. I've just done a recording of the book and the cards. Just gave me a rough idea of the kind of content that the book would contain. I used um, the Deviant Moon Tarot and they were very clear on the kind of direction the book would go in, but I failed to ask specifics. I failed to ask about the five main characters. So with Tarot, you need to be very direct. So in this reading, I'm going to say, okay, so we have the bare bones of this um, tale, how it's going to unravel and uh, roughly the kind of content that's going to be in this book. Uh, but I have written out the names of the main players and I would just like a card on each one. How is she going to portray each of these characters within the book? So we're starting off with Harry, please. How will she portray Harry? Oh my goodness, that's funny because the sun in reverse came out in the last reading, there we go, you can just see that there, the sun in reverse, dark, um, you know, the sun, the sun, the correct way up is, um, well, it is what it is, it's life-giving, it's, it's affirmative, it's a yes card, it's, it's all good things, the sun in reverse, the sun's gone out, I think she's going to portray him as a depressive, um, and that, came out perfectly well in the first reading uh, with a different deck of cards so yes okay I'm not going for any more I just want one on each of the main players so let's have Prince William then what about Prince William how will she portray Prince William how will Prince William be portrayed in this book that wanted to Okay, we've got the Five of Swords. Um, five of Swords is, I, I really like this depiction of the Five of Swords. Um, usually it's um, in the right way, they're the, um, the people on the beach um, with swords. There's been a fight. You've got the walking away of the people that have been defeated. You've got the person who's defeated them standing there. It's, you win a battle, but you win it unfairly it's sort of um not playing fair not playing fair and this depiction is quite interesting it's totally different you've got this person here with some kind of i don't know what it is i think it's a butterfly in a jar and it's almost with this making a decision are you going to be cruel or are you going to be kind? Are you going to open up that jar and let that butterfly go? Or are you going to do something wicked with these five little swords here? Are you going to maybe dreadfully pin it to a board and keep it pinned down? You have a choice in um, what battles you fight. And I see this as how she's going to describe Prince William, that he was vindictive in a way that she was the butterfly in the jar um, and he chose to be cruel whereas he could have you know could have given her could have given her half the duchy of cornwall could have given her um all kinds of things well he couldn't have done but you know what i mean um he could have been so generous to her but he chose to be cruel and in the traditional ride weight you know you, you have got that that sort of feeling of you won, but you won at any cost. So I think she's going to portray him as um, somebody who will just get what they want and use duplicitous methods. And uh, she was that butterfly in that jar. And Prince William chose to be cruel to her rather than just let her flourish and, you know, um, take the limelight and be be the butterfly that everybody looked at rather than Catherine, you know, it, she should have been that, she should have been out there flying and um, he squashed her down. He squashed her down. He was cruel to her because he didn't want her taking the limelight away from his wife. I think that's the kind of vindictive 
spitefulness. I think it's a spiteful card. That's how she's going to portray him in, in her little world. Harry was a depressive and um, Prince William, well, he's he's this vindictive person who chooses cruelty rather than kindness. Okay, so we're going to go for the two ladies in the book. Let's go for Queen Camilla, first of all. Queen Consort Camilla. How will she portray Camilla? How will she portray Camilla? Megan, how will she portray Camilla? What's her role in this little fairy story? How will Camilla be portrayed? Hopefully just one card will sum it up. We're doing good so far, so <laughs> we'll see. Camilla. Camilla, Queen Consort Camilla. Let's have that one. The world in reverse. Okay, so where can I put that that you can see? Consort Camilla, let's stick her there. Okay, so the world, the right way up, I mean, that would be, you know, somebody that um, has got her position, has, you know, um, led a good life, got all the the good things that were due to her, they've come, they've come. She got it um, in a good way and she's her life has done a good cycle and she's come to the fruition of everything and what a woman. So that would be sort of the world up the right way. Everybody looking at her and thinking, oh, you know, th this woman has done this huge journey in her life and you know fair enough but we aren't that way around we're the other way for Queen Camilla consort so she's looking at her and saying this is the end of her she didn't get there by fair means she's probably going to play the Diana card heavily on this um she got to where she is by using bad tactics She's not somebody who um, should be where she is. I think that's probably the tack that she will take with that. And I think very much it will be um, she got there um, off the death of Diana. And, um, you know, the world does not appreciate this woman who you know, got to where she is by foul means rather than fair rather than fair she got there by foul means so that's the way I'm kind of reading Camilla she's the world in reverse okay so let's see what she'll say about Catherine Princess of Wales how will she portray Catherine Princess of Wales that's out. oh ten of pentacles in reverse Put that one there. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Um, it's not a kind card. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, the right way up. That is uh, very much sort of the royal family card. It's it's um, lots of wealth, lots of opulence. Um, that the family with all the love and um everything good surrounding them. I think she's going to put it in reverse and um, play play on the tack that she hasn't got it all, that her life is not perfect. She hasn't, she hasn't got all these wonderful things. Her children aren't perfect. Um, it all looks, in, in this one, it all looks perfect with, you know, the, the family and the money. Um, but she's going to be saying, oh, no, you know, her children are a nightmare. Her husband's um, off having affairs, you know. Um, it's just that family turned upside down, that golden family, which, you know, they, they always look stunning, don't they? That you've got William and Catherine and those children. They always uh, put their best foot forward. They always look lovely. And they sort of shine through um, happiness. And she has to turn that on its head. It's it's her life is not like that. Her life is dealing with these terrible, naughty, naughty children. And um, the husband that's off having affairs. And, you know, she is just not um, the person that you think she is. She's a bad mother. Um, she's, she's not this loving person. So I think she's going to turn... Um, Catherine's life 
on its head and try and take all that gloss out of it. And let's just have King Charles. How on earth is she going to portray King Charles, the most senior member of this fairy story? How will she portray King Charles? Well, that's interesting. It's some um, sort of minor arcana. She's not, she's not giving him any status here with this. I thought, you know, it might at least come up as an emperor or, you know, um, I don't know, uh, king of king of swords, maybe, or, or king of cups or what have in reverse, probably. But this it, is really playing him down. You know, you could say that um, Camilla at least got, you know, a major arcana. Um, Catherine got a 10 in reverse, you know. Um, <laughs> Charles, I was very unimpressed with him. Very unimpressed. I mean, uh, the four of wands, that's sort of um, the family card. And you, you've got the child here blowing out the cake on the candles. Very stable family. Well, she's going to come across that Prince Charles, none of this family is stable because he's the head of it. And um, it's all very unstable. It's a weak institution led by a weak man. Uh, the four is four walls. Four is always stability. So in reverse, it's like everything is crumbling. Uh, it's a crumbling, um, archaic um, institution led by this crumbling man. She can't even be bothered to to think of him in emperor or you know uh, greater arcana um, terms. He, he's he's a four four of wands. I mean that is putting him right down uh, because he's. He's just a weak man at this weak institution that's outdated. Uh, those four walls of that castle are not strong. Everything's crumbling. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. See what you think. Um, I just wanted the cards just to be as direct as possible. And I think that worked out quite nicely. That's how she's going to portray the four main characters of her fairy story, if she writes it. So I hope you enjoyed that one and I hope it just expands a little bit on the reading that I did earlier. Anyway, have a lovely day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.